Live from WATN in high definition, this is a Local 24 breaking news alert. Good evening, I'm McKinley Wilson. Two abducted children have been located, but the search continues for a woman believed to have been abducted by her boyfriend. 40-year-old Zanitra Crawford was last seen this morning around 7.30 in the 1000 block of Lexington Circle in Memphis. Since then, Crawford's 10-year-old daughter, Kania, has been found, along with another child, 6-year-old Candace Shields. According to Memphis police, Crawford was last seen with this man, her boyfriend, 40-year-old Raymond Clark. Clark was last seen driving a 2013 Blue Buick Verano with a Tennessee license plate number Z6290E. If you have any information on his whereabouts, call Memphis police. Boxing legend Muhammad Ali has died. He was 74 years old. The sports legend is being remembered today for his tremendous athletic feats in the boxing ring and his contributions long after he fought his final fight. Paulo Sandova reports. The legendary boxer who proclaimed himself the greatest died Friday in Scottsdale, Arizona. A family spokesman says Muhammad Ali had been at a hospital since Thursday after suffering from respiratory problems. Ali's hometown of Louisville, Kentucky paid tribute to the legend this morning. The American flag flew at half staff. We heard him in a way no one else could. As our brother, our uncle, and our inspiration. Outside the Ali Center, flowers lay surrounding a poster that reads, Rest in Peace, Champ. Tributes from fans and celebrities continue pouring in all over social media. Boxing champs like Oscar de la Hoya. Ali was more than just an athlete. He was also active in the civil rights movement and the fight for social justice. He famously refused to fight in the Vietnam War and had to sell boxing for three years. Local 24's Austin Lewis was at the Civil Rights Museum today. She learned about his influence. Muhammad Ali was a champion both inside and outside of the ring. He knocked out his opponents. He also delivered major blows to racism, advocating loudly for civil rights. He's in a time when that really hadn't been done. It wasn't a popular thing to do. He, he had a lot of opposition to, one, him not going uh, to Vietnam, and two, him changing. Thanks, Austin. Muhammad Ali's life and legacy impacted people around the world, including those in the Mid-South. Here's what some had to say about the legendary boxer and humanitarian. Joe Freddy's the first fight. I think that was a good fight. Um, he just came out of uh, exile, and he put on a good show, but he didn't win. I can remember when he was Cassius Clay, <laughs> and he changed his name to Muhammad Ali, and. Um, and he was always, always had some rhetoric going and kept everybody entertained with it of uh, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I, took up the world. I don't think nobody was the greatest than him, though. I mean, he really, when he said he was the greatest, he was the greatest, though, of all times. He was the greatest. We'll have more reaction from Memphians coming up tonight at 10. Boxing enthusiasts are also offering their words in the wake of Muhammad Ali's death. Joey Hadley of Hadley's Boxing spoke with us about meeting Muhammad Ali. He says he was different off camera than on, calling him a very polite and nice guy. Hadley says his manager was good friends with Ali, who gave him advice before his infamous rumble in the jungle fight with George Foreman. His manager told Ali to let Foreman know right off the bat you can hurt him. Ali went off to win that boxing match. He brought so many more people into boxing. Now, a lot of the people came into it because they wanted to see him get beat, because he would run his mouth and stuff all the time. But that was uh, on purpose. He knew exactly what he was doing. Uh, he was selling tickets. Hadley says in their prime, Mike Tyson is the only boxer who could have been Ali. ABC is airing a special edition of 2020, titled Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. You can watch right here on Local 24, tonight at 7. Continuing coverage, a seven-month-year-old baby boy was killed in an apartment fire last night. A two-year-old girl was also taken to the hospital with secondary burns. 74 emergency responders helped put out the fast-moving fire at the Tanglewood Apartments in Northeast Memphis. It took over an hour to get the flames under control. Memphis Fire Department said there was not a working smoke alarm in the apartment. Eight units were damaged. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. It's all to encourage kids to make sure they come to class on time. Shelby County students with perfect attendance were honored in a big way today. But first, local 24 meteorologist Lauren Raymer is standing by with a quick check of the weather. Lauren?